Hello, hi everyone. Uh, today we will check video by Rahul. Invest 35k to get 1.7L. Good or bad investment? Hi friends, I was reading an article in Economic Times and as per this article, Mitesh from New Delhi is investing in a policy or a scheme wherein he is putting 85,000 rupees per month for 10 years duration and after 13th year, he will start to get 1,70,000 rupees per month back into his account for the next 10 years and these returns are guaranteed returns. Along with these returns, he is also going to get 1 crore term insurance with this policy for the entire 22 years of this policy. Now this policy is good or bad. Pause this video and let me know whether you think this is a good policy or bad policy. Majority of the people will struggle to calculate the return on this policy because there are a lot of cash flows happening for 22 years. And also there is a term insurance policy here. How do you even calculate the returns on this policy? I will tell you a very very simple method in this video. For this what you see on my screen is I have assumed here rather than 85,000 rupees per month I am assuming 85,000 rupees per year because that is more reasonable number for many of us 85,000 rupees per month is too high a number for many of us to invest right. So I am calculating more practical number which is let us say 85,000 rupees per year is what you are investing in a policy like this for 10 years in the year 11th and 12th you are sitting back and relaxing not paying any money and from 13th year onwards you are getting 1,70,000 rupees up until 22nd year of the policy. So in this policy how to calculate the rate of return is very very simple. We are going to learn the concept of internal rate of return IRR. This is a formula that is used by venture capitalist private equity firms and even in IT people like me who are the project managers we use that in business cases right. Simple formula for IRR will be that you put all your money that is going out in negative amount so you see here minus 85,000 rupees and then when you are getting money back from your policy you put that as positive amount and if you just do a formula of IRR and just take these amounts it is going to automatically calculate and give you 6% interest rate here. So meaning you are earning 6% annual return on this money that you have put in for 10 years as the money start to come back to you from 13th year onwards right. Now this policy is giving you only 6% IRR but you are also getting 1 crore term insurance with this scheme. How to calculate the returns of that 1 crore term insurance? Let us also consider that. Now on this 1 crore term insurance you cannot directly calculate returns but there is a concept that we can use which is called opportunity cost. Very important concept. In this concept since you are getting this 1 crore term insurance free as part of this scheme you would have had to spend some money if you did not have this policy to buy a separate term insurance right. We need to find out how much you would have paid to buy a term insurance separately if you did not have this policy because that is the cost you are saving right. So for that what I am doing is I am going to max insurance website because their premiums are reasonably low and if we do for a 24 year old male right if we do the calculation here let's do the calculation for a let's say salaried person and if you are educated more than graduation so if we do the calculation for 1 crore of life cover you have to pay 899 rupees per month as the premium. Since you already have this 1 crore term insurance coming with this investment policy you will be saving 899 rupees per month because otherwise you would have to take this policy separately right because life insurance is a must have in our financial planning so we all need to have that definitely. So if I use this 899 rupees that you are able to save per month right and if we say that if you are saving this money you are not going to leave this money in your bank account hopefully you will earn some money on top of it because if you will invest in either a mutual fund or stocks or even a fixed deposit right. So let me take a case of index fund investing if you invest this 899 rupees at 12% returns for 22 years because this term insurance policy is valid for 22 years right. So if we do the calculation it comes out that you have actually earned 11,65,000 rupees indirectly because you had this term insurance coming with this scheme right. Now if I use 11,65,000 number here and put this as a cash flow because I am accounting for it basically it's a benefit I am not directly getting 11,65,000 rupees in my pocket but I have saved that much money if I am saving 899 rupees per month as we saw in the Max Life's website right and if I now do the calculation of final IRR to make sure I can account for both the benefits term insurance as well as the returns I am getting then this comes out to be 
9%, right? So in this policy, now I am getting guaranteed 9% returns. Now you know the complete picture and you can make a decision. Now people who want to generate better IRR than 9%, I will teach you a very, very simple method, but a beautiful combination of three investment tools, right? Allow me five to seven minutes of time and you will understand this beautiful concept in a very, very simple language, right? So in this option, what we are going to do, we are going to use three financial tools. Number one is term insurance. So we will buy a term insurance. Number two is we will invest money in index mutual fund as well. I will explain to you in a very, very simple language. And the third will be the systematic withdrawal plan SWP. And the power of these three financial tools put together is going to give us much better internal rate of returns, provided you're willing to take slightly higher risk. Because please remember in the policy scheme that we saw in the first half of this video, that was all about guaranteed returns. But here, if you want to generate higher returns, then you will have to take slightly higher risk, right? But I will explain to you in a very, very simple language. So first thing is that let us say in the scheme, if I compare apples to apples, we were paying 85,000 rupees per year, right? So I take the same number 85,000 rupees per year. The first investment we will do is in term insurance plan. So again, I am assuming that let us say you want to take one crore rupees of term insurance, then you will be paying 89 rupees per month, right? For that insurance, as we saw in the Max Life website, that comes out to be 10,000 rupees per year. So if I take 10,000 rupees out of that 85,000 rupees, you will be left with 74,000 rupees per month. By the way, you don't need to stick with one crore of insurance plan. I have taken that as an example. You might go for lower or higher. For example, if you want to go for a higher amount, let us go on to Max website and put two crore here. And here the premium will be 1,482 rupees per month, right? So depending on what is your need, about the term insurance, you can take either higher or lower. But just so that we can compare like for like, I am considering here one crore rupees only. And just a quick note that before you buy any term insurance plan, please make sure you check the death claim paid ratio. Extremely important. In case of max insurance, they are reporting it to be 99.51% death claim paid ratio. Also, max insurance is providing coverage against 64 critical illnesses. Extremely important for people. So before you take any term insurance, please make sure you check out these two things as well. In your policy in the description or in the pinned comment you will find the max life insurance link as well just in case you want to take from max life right so now coming back out of this 85,000 rupees 10,788 per year is going into term insurance the remaining 74,000 rupees is what we need to do to step number two or investment number two which is index mutual fund now the question comes which index fund I am talking about so I am going to take simplistic nifty 50 index fund and if you look at the returns the last one year nifty 50 index has given close to 21% returns but we can't use that number for our calculations because it is only last one year's returns right so for that if we go back and look at the past data so let us consider last five years data and last five years nifty 50 has given close to 14 percent total returns right but again me being a very conservative investor what i would like to do is i would not like to take 14 percent right so let us assume for the next 22 years we can grow this money by 12 percent okay i'm being conservative here so if I do the calculation for 12 years, let us say the first year I'm putting 74,000 rupees out of that 85,000, right? Because we got the term insurance. Now the remaining 74,000 rupees I'm putting in a nifty 50 index mutual fund. By the way, I created a nifty 50 index mutual fund video as well for beginners on my channel. And I also shared which is my favorite nifty 50 index mutual fund. You can go and watch that video as well, right? Now coming back here from a calculation perspective, what you need to do is simply calculate future value. Again, if you just do a Google about how to calculate future value, you will understand that, right? If you want to have this Excel, let me know in the comments, please provide the Excel and I will put it on a drive and you can download it and make changes as per your view, right? Now coming back to this 74,000 rupees investment. So after 12 years, this money will become 289,000 rupees if you look at the future value formula. Again, very simple formula here, right? Likewise, if I continue to put 74,000 rupees for 10 years, then this money by the end of 12th year will become 18,29,000 rupees, right? Now this I have calculated as per 12% return using nifty 50 index mutual fund but there are more than 40 types of index mutual fund that you can consider choosing based on your risk appetite if you want to take even higher risk in terms of the index mutual fund one of the index mutual fund you can consider is nifty mid cap 150 momentum 50 again this is very very high risk as compared to nifty 50 index mutual fund but it generates far better returns than nifty 50 and let me show you the data so if you look at the fact sheet of this mutual fund in the last five years if you see the data it has generated 32 percent returns which is 
मोर देन डबल द निफ्टी फिफ्टी रिटर्न बट अफकोर्स इट कम्स विद हायर रिस्क देन निफ्टी फिफ्टी राइट एंड इफ यू वॉन्ट टू टेक हायर रिस्क यू कैन कंसिडर दैट इंडेक्स फंड एज वेल एंड मैक्स लाइफ इंश्योरेंस ऑल्सो हैज ए निफ्टी मिड कैप वन फिफ्टी मोमेंटम फिफ्टी इंडेक्स फंड एज वेल प्लीज गो एड एंड चेक इट आउट आई एल प्रोवाइड यू द लिंक फॉर दैट म्यूचुअल फंड एज वेल बट कमिंग बैक टू द पॉइंट इट रियली डिपेंड्स ऑन योर रिस्क एपिटाइट हियर हाउ मच ऑफ रिस्क यू वॉन्ट टू टेक वर्स इज हाउ मच ऑफ रिटर्न यू वॉन्ट टू जनरेट राइट फॉर दिस एग्जाम्पल पर्पज इज आई ओनली कैलकुलेटेड ट्वेल्व परसेंट बिकॉज आई एम कंसिडरिंग माई सेल्फ एज ए कंजर्वेटिव इन्वेस्टर राइट एंड दिस एटीन लैख रुपीज ट्वेंटी नाइन थाउजेंड रुपीज वॉट वी आर नाउ गोइंग टू डू इज वी आर गोइंग टू यूज इन्वेस्टमेंट प्लानिंग टूल नंबर थ्री विच इज systematic withdrawal plan because if we are comparing this with our policy that we talked about in the beginning of the video we were getting every year 170000 rupees back from 13th year onwards so what we are going to do is we are going to invest this 18 lakh rupees in a systematic withdrawal plan mutual fund i created a separate video on what is a systematic withdrawal plan mutual fund you will find that also on my channel or i'll provide you the link in the description right the logic is very simple that you put this 18 lakh rupees into that systematic withdrawal plan mutual fund and you withdraw every month the money that you need right so just to compare it like for like 1 lakh 70000 rupees per year meaning 14000 167 rupees per month is what we are going to withdraw and this money gets invested as well in your systematic withdrawal plan right so this is going to grow as well so if i show you the calculation so there is this swp calculator here if you were to put 18 lakh rupees there and again assuming that you are able to generate 12% returns again we being conservative for a 10 years of period 12% returns is very much doable in my view right If we withdraw fourteen thousand rupees one hundred sixty six, then you will be left with twenty seven lakh rupees after the ten years, right? So basically, the calculations will be that you put this eighteen lakh rupees in a systematic withdrawal plan and start to withdraw every month fourteen thousand rupees, which is equivalent to one lakh seventy thousand rupees per year here, and do that for the next ten years, which is equivalent to our first scheme that we did. If you do that, because this eighteen lakh is growing at twelve percent, you are also going to get. in the end after 10 years 27 lakh rupees with you right and if i put this 27 lakh rupees as a cash flow here and if now we calculate the irr return of this particular plan here this comes out to be 13% so in the previous scenario that we had where we had 85000 rupees going every year and 1 lakh 70000 rupees coming back every year and along with the term insurance benefit of 11 lakh rupees we had a irr of 9% in this second example that we have taken what we have done is we have done the term insurance for 10000 rupees per year and the remaining 74000 what we have done is we have put that in a index mutual fund nifty 50 mutual fund and at a 12% returns for 13 years that has given us 18 lakh rupees what we have done is that 18 lakh rupees we have put it in a systematic withdrawal plan mutual fund that has given us 1 lakh 70000 rupees every year at the end we will still be left with 27 lakh rupees because that's how the systematic withdrawal plans work if you understand it and if i now do the final irr calculation in the option number 2 you will see that the final irr is coming at 13% call is yours what i have done here is i have taught you few things here number 1 is how to calculate irr if you are going for any of these policies right number 2 is that you don't need to stick with that policy only if you want to take higher risk and if you want to generate higher returns you go for this combination plan which is term insurance you can then invest in index mutual fund and you understand systematic withdrawal plan all of this need some knowledge and if you're looking for knowledge then you can subscribe to my channel because more often than not i will bring you these nitty gritties so that you can understand lot of concepts around investing i will never recommend you anything but what i am doing is i am presenting you data facts calculations logic and what you are doing is you are learning that and based on your risk appetite based on your reward that you want